All right, hey Sagittarius. So I'm doing a singles read to kick off May. You guys, I did not set any intention on past love or new love. This is just the intro of May. As you know, I will be putting out reads as we go through the month. Okay, ghosted, it's not you. Singles, um, another singles read with new dynamics. Um, torn between two, all that good stuff. All right, so I mean, my thing is love. It's it's where I flow. It's where I flow from. All right, so you're going to know this is your read from uh, your energy, what you're calling in, and then I'm going to pull to see who is coming towards you, and that might be a separate dynamic, but you will still resonate with that energy. So if you don't resonate with the intro energy, you guys check those Moon Rising and Venus placements, and if you're new, welcome. You guys, I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. And this is going to be a 60-day intention from the date that you see this, if not a confirmation. So some of you guys could already be resonating with this. Some of you guys could be feeling it coming through. Some of you guys could just be like, that's my energy. So let's see if it unfolds, all right? So I'm going to start with your energy, your current energy. You got judgment. Oh, are you guys focusing on the past? Okay, this actually, it, it's a little bit hard. You got the Judgment card coming through, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups. All right, you also got Death card. I don't know, maybe some of y'all are dealing with the Scorpio, but there's a lot Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy coming through. Okay, when it comes to your current energy, I feel like there's a lot of reflection when it comes to the past. But I feel like you're also not letting that um, deter you from moving forward. The reason why I say that is because Judgment card is a card of changing, growing, rebuilding, releasing, moving forward. And it's actually seeing, all right, through that Seven of Cups energy, the actual, like, okay, what I'm going to say is this. At one point in time, you may not have been able to see that middle trophy, right? But I feel like you guys are entering a new phase when it comes to life in such a way that it's like, okay, if we release what we cannot hold, if we can release what we what, what doesn't serve us, and we turn around, all right, here's these cups standing, and then it's like, wow, what? No, I got way more than just the two cups. I got all these other cups coming through. I kind of feel like that is what you guys are experiencing. Cups are emotions, right? And I feel like what you guys are going through right now Okay, when it comes to life, family, friends, romance, all that other stuff, everything when it comes to life, I feel like you're kind of turning over a new leaf. Okay, so when we no longer hold on to the past and what we can't control, what happens is, is we start to see life in such a way that there, there's going to be a new beginning. It doesn't matter what you're calling in, and you know that, and I feel like you're having this recognition of that. Your oracle card is fertility. Let your life burst forth from the war, from the seeds of creation. Okay, and I feel like that is like, it's a, it's not even something that is new to you. It's like renewed. It's a refurbished dynamic that I feel is coming through here. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah. I remember that. Okay. That's how I feel your guys' energy sits. It's a refurbished dynamic because you already have known this all along. And for whoever's here, I'm, I'm telling you, you've already known what you needed to do in order to, um, you know, surpass what the past has or has not brought to you. Okay, that's, and I hope that you understand what I'm saying. All right, so I, whatever it is, it has transmuted in your life. It's like, I know it's not here, it hasn't come, but you also know that you can't hold on to it. You also know that better things are coming. That's who I'm talking to as far as your energy. I feel like you guys are remembering that or you're, you're reestablishing that into your life. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's see what it is that you are calling in. What are you calling in? You, okay, so when it comes to when it comes to your you guys, look, you got the ten of wands. You got this empress card right here. All right, you got the seven of wands coming through. So, okay, if you guys have have spent the majority of life or the majority of your time with somebody, and it feels like a far reach. Okay, you're you are being told to step into a time where time can glimpse into the realm of possibility. The reason why I'm saying that is because I do not feel like what you're calling in is new. Actually, I feel like what you're calling in is something that is very disconnected from you, very distant from you, so you think, and something that you have been bound and determined to not let go of, not give up on. Okay? 
And I feel like you guys, whoever is here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have not been able to get this person off, off your mind. You go to sleep thinking about them. You wake up thinking about them. You know that this is a soulmate coming through with that Empress energy. And you have been determined. Like everybody that comes through and tries to waver your mindset, you're like, no, this is my person. This is the one I want. This is the one I'm going to take home to one of these days. All right. Even if it's not right now. I do feel like you guys are holding on to somebody that you are quite familiar with. All right, but it's like, why aren't we here yet? And that could be where that intro energy is coming through. So let's just see what, what, who is coming towards you next. All right, who is coming towards you next? What is the next situation coming towards Sagittarius? All right, so we got this nine of wands. You got the seven of, of pentacles. So you guys are deaf and your emperor card. Yep, okay, and the king of pentacles. All right, so you, well, I feel like this. This guy actually came through in reverse. So what that tells me is that you're dealing with somebody who is very complacent when it comes to life. And they may have shown you that they are unwilling to change. There is nothing that can shake or take or break, all right, what they're currently going through to make them be with you. This is unmovable energy. When the king of um, coins shows up in reverse, that is like somebody who is very stubborn, very like in their mindset, in their mode, in their money, in the very 3D materialistic aspects when it comes to life. You're not going to be able to make me go there, all right? Um, but look at that's who's coming through next. You have the seven of pentacles coming through. So what I feel like is that you guys are going to heal a hurt dynamic that you have experienced with this person because you know this person is meant to be in your life. So if you guys are calling in a soulmate that has not reached you yet, if you guys are calling in a soul dynamic that has just not transformed, and you're watching all these tarot readers and you're like, everybody keeps saying the same fucking thing and they're not coming through. Well, first of all, you got to get rid of that mentality. And second of all, um, I, I feel like you guys are, are, are being told, all right, to rather focus on yourself. You're being told to focus on yourself and not this person. Once you take the focus off this person, this person is going to illuminate themselves in such a way that they will be naturally drawn to you. All right. <laughs> that five of cups. That's you reflecting on the past. The seven of cups, that's you feeling like an option. But you can see more potential in this dynamic because you know your worth and value. But what you're not doing as far as seeing your worth and value is you're not giving it to that person in such a way that they can actually see that. But they know that. This person already knows that. I'm not trying to confuse you, but what I'm going to say is that this you don't have to prove anything to this person. The one that you're thinking of right now, you have nothing that you no longer have to prove. Okay, so if you feel an energetic attachment to somebody and you cannot eat, sleep or drink or think about this person without or, or think about or navigate your, your life without thinking about this person, what you guys are being uh, told to do is navigate life without without ingesting this person in your energy in every waking second. That's might sound confusing. It might sound like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, what I'm going to tell you is this, is that you ingest way too much energy about your life around this person. When, when your life, your waking life has absolutely nothing to do with this person in such a way that it's like when you can truly just be like, hey, you know what? Stay with what you're doing. Do with what you're doing. I'm done. I really feel like that's when you're going to see the biggest revelations come through with this dynamic. But I feel like it might, the more you hold on to this connection, the more you squeeze onto it, it's like the, the, um, the lemon cup, the lemon, and then the top goes on and it clamps on. And I feel like that's how you guys are with this connection. Um, but just release it, let it go, throw it out in the garden, let the chickens peck at it for a little bit and let this person wallow on in their own. Because what I'm seeing right here is this person can feel you so energetically that they, um, they know they can reach out to right now and they're, and, the, and you're going to be there. And that's not the way that that's not it. That's not, not it. All right. And it's good that you got that much love and affiliation and heart for this person, but you're deducting from yourself energetically for this person. And this is not going to be everybody's read, but you got to give some of this back to yourself before you see it actually turn um, in your favor, okay? So you already know who this person is. You already know what they're like. So let's just see what you need to know about this connection. What do you need to know about this connection? 
All right, look at that. They're spying on you. If you felt disconnected from this person, if you have felt like they're not here, I'm going to tell you this. They are definitely here, and they are seeing you transform yourself into that best version of yourself, the, the Queen of Cups. All right, so I'm not I'm not here to tell you guys, oh, you're, you're being codependent. You're being too much stressful about this situation and this person. What I'm going to tell you is this. You have been transforming. You have been ch uh, changing, and this person actually does. Uh, they are starting to feel you energetically disconnect from this all right because the queen of cups is showing up in in the upright this is independence this is compassion self-care self-love self-confidence this is everything that you've been needing to be told since the since the dawn of time when you met this person all right the eight of pentacles is this person seeing yourself work on yourself to such a degree that after whatever has transposed in that last energetic dynamic they're seeing you oh and you are taken off with a vengeance that is what you should be doing uh, and i feel like this person is here to confirm to you that everything that you have been doing since the last energetic connection has been on point okay so let's just see what comes next with you guys what is coming next with this connection what comes next with you and this person the next 60 days okay so we got the devil card showing up. We got the four of, of cups. All right. The knight of wands coming through with the ace of pentacles. Okay. So I'm going to say this. And I feel like this is actually going to go a little bit further than what I feel like you've received from this person. But what I feel is happening with this person is they might come through and they might deliver you a little bit of a false promise. Know that it might be a false promise. Use your intuition to gauge this person's intentions. Knight of Wands in reverse. That's player energy. That is probably what you have been on the receiving end for most of this dynamic. But they feel you pulling away. So they're going to come through stronger than what you've ever seen them with the Ace of Pentacle in hand, which to me is a commitment. This is a promise. Okay. But the Four of Cups, and this is one thing that I'm going to say. I've never felt compelled to see this card in the upright and say a missed opportunity. But I almost feel like the Devil card coming through here is this person... This person feeling you slip away, they're going to give you a false hope. You guys need to stay on your toes about this connection. All right. And if you're not staying on your toes, please do not blame me because I feel like this person is going to come through. They're going to swagger you again. They're going to reel you in and you are going to be possibly gifted another missed opportunity with this person because of you caving into uh, the hotel room, your apartment, your house. Um, any, anything and everything, but out of their existence, do not. You guys, I'm going to, this is like going to be a fucking severe warner, warning read. Don't do it. Listen to your intuition. And if it feels devilish, if it feels like they're coming from the ego, they're being a player. If they, if you feel like they're stringing you along, they're smooth talking you, male or female, you guys, you got to know it's uh, possibly empty promises coming up with this one. They still have not changed. You're being told the stronger that you can um, stay committed to yourself. All right. You reject this. Something better comes through in the end. Okay. <clears throat> um, and, and, you know, I, I, I just, I, I feel like I know I've done enough readings, personal readings that I know that the people that show up here are going to know who I'm talking to. All right. You got AD coming through for initials QE and cf and just um stay hooked up with me you guys because i'm going to be doing other reads throughout this week throughout this month okay and we'll go one further from this dynamic also you guys i love you take care